Hello YouTube, um, today I'm basically gonna teach you a cool prank that you can pull on your friends. Now, one thing that I'm gonna tell you real quick is, um, I tried to do this video, um, in one screen recording, but it did not work because it went over the 10 minute limit. Because I am not a partner, so I do not have the ability to create videos that are over 10 minutes long. That was long. Um, this one is a prank. Um, hold on one second. Check, check. Is the mic still working? Yes. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, all you're going to do is you're going to launch your terminal. You can find it in the spotlight. Um, okay. Now you're going to type in... Um, you're gonna type in CD desktop. This basically puts you on your desktop for for terminal. Now, see, it says blah blah blah, the name of your uh, Mac, and uh, then a colon desktop, the name of your Mac again, well your username, and then a dollar sign. It's a little different. So th now, um, you can type in ls if you want. It, you don't have to. It, all that does is show you what it tells you the file names that are on your desktop. Okay, so basically now all you gotta do is you're gonna type in nano and then in the name of it. So we're just gonna type in prank, and then we're gonna hit enter, and it opens up nano inside of terminal. Nano is basically a program in Terminal. Kind of like Terminal, although it's more of like a text edit thing. Up here, I'll say file, colon, a big space, and then prank. Uh, or whatever you named it. So you're going to type in this code. This will definitely be in the description. While, space bracket, true, bracket, space, do. Now you're going to type in enter then kill all now you can type in doc but that will just make it really glitchy um i'll just do finder um the two programs that you do not want to kill is um spotlight and terminal because you're gonna need those so don't do those unless you're on leopard but Still no spotlight on Leopard. And kill all, I don't know, mail. Um, I use that application. All it is is an email application. Then you're going to do another enter, and then you're going to hit done, or you're going to type in done, and then another enter. And you're going to save it, and the way that you do this is control X. And you have to hold control, and then you're going to press Y to save it. You can edit the name and stuff. Just hit enter. And it should be on your desktop if you put it on your desktop. But right now, I'll zoom out. Um, I'm going to actually minimize terminal for now. Now, if you, I'm going to go into quick look with prank. And it just says document. So when you hold it, or shows you what you typed in, and it opens text edit. It doesn't really do anything, so it's useless now. But if you quit text edit, now if you go back in terminal and you're gonna enter this code to um, make it an executable file, executable file. I'll show you this. Okay, so you're gonna enter this code: chmod space plus x space and then the name of your file so prank then i'll zoom out yeah i did not mean to do that uh. okay i made terminal a little bigger now watch the prank icon right here as i hit enter okay it turns into a um a uh, terminal file now if you Select it and press the space bar. It should say Unix executable file. That is good because once you enter it, you can 
do stuff. So you're done there. I'm gonna type in cd dot dot to exit our desktop and terminal. Hey, you're basically done with the terminal. You can just exit out of that because you already have the file saved. So you're gonna go into the finder and uh, cause you haven't um done it yet. So um so we're gonna go into our applications folder and just pick any application, just any application that has an icon, and then we're gonna we're gonna actually get the info and copy the icon. So let's say this was I don't know, calculator. Then you're gonna right click or control click, um which right clicks, get info. Now you can exit out of Finder. Now you're gonna right click on Prank and get the info to that. Because y you can actually rename Prank and stuff. So for calculator, all you're gonna do, I'll zoom in. Okay, this part is optional. Now th this part is recommended to make it more of a believable prank. So you're gonna click this and then you're gonna click Edit copy copy it should copy it then if you click the icon on prank edit and then you're gonna select paste and it should pop up with that now just so it's more believable I'm just gonna type in the name of it so okay I have calculator typed in now See, prank over here already has a calculator icon, but once I click that, it makes it, it makes it so it looks like calculator. Now that part is optional. It is recommended for this prank. Now once you open it, it opens up terminal, and then your friends should go crazy when they try to open the finder. I'll just minimize terminal, um, because when they open the finder, it basically has this error. And then if you keep opening it, it basically has a bunch of windows. And now, you have to click all the OKs. Now, I'll set the mic down. Thanks to the enter, enter, turn button, stuff like that. Okay, basically quit the finder and let's try Safari. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happens. Um, now if you go back in the terminal and then you close that, um, if you're on Snow Leopard, it will undo it, but if you're on Leopard, I'll show you what you do if it's kind of confusing. So you're going to minimize that, and you're going to go into Spotlight, I'll zoom in. So I have to actually set the mic down when I'm uh, doing uh, my Spotlight because I did get my Mac a long time ago. Just so you know. Um, then you're going to type in Activity Monitor, and there it is. So then you're going to go there. I had to hit Enter because that is not in my dock. Okay. Now all you're going to do is over here, you're get, just going to type in the following. Okay, it's Bash. Now then you're just going to select 1 only one. You don't have to select two, only one. And then you're going to quit it. It's best to force quit it, but you don't have to. And it, and the reason that's good is it because it automatically quits the other process, and then you're good to go. But if you're in Leopard, or Snow Leopard, I meant, uh, you can just exit out of it, and it would undo the action. You're set to go. Now, um... I'm going to put this in the trash because it's pretty much useless. I Okay. Okay, so that's how you create your own Mac prank. So you can prank your friends and make them go crazy when they try to open the finder. Thank you.